I'm Carlos Rousseau. I'm a chef, a native of Vermillion Parish, and a great admirer of all things Cajun. I'm on a mission to explore the culture of the most Cajun place on earth. I'm at the monthly coffee and music event at La Musée in Kaplan. Today's performers are the Babineau Sisters. Their music uses English and Cajun lyrics almost interchangeably, reflecting the multicultural spirit of the region. How did the Babineau Sisters become a musical act? Um, actually, Gracie started first, and I followed. Um, she always, I think she always loved music. Southern Louisiana has a rich history of Cajun language and its influence is still seen today. Nearly a quarter of the population of Vermillion Parish speaks the language and various preservation efforts are underway to keep that tradition alive. One of your biggest fans who was sitting next to me said that you can just feel the spirit come out in your music. Tell me, tell me how that makes you feel, the music. I find when I'm playing music you know, when you're playing in front of a crowd and when I'm speaking in front of a crowd, you know, you get nervous. But when I start to play music, it's like, it kind of calms my nerves and it's like I'm in another zone. It makes me so comfortable, it's like I'm doing what I know that I can do. So who taught you to speak uh, Kajan? Uh, well, I don't, I'm not completely fluent in it, but I can read it and I can write it. But I learned most of my French from actually my grandpa. He, he would talk French around us when we were little, and then since we started playing music more and he would come with us to places, he started speaking more. And so that helped him out. So you're all kind of becoming like ambassadors for the Cajun culture? I guess so. I, I would like to be called that, you know. Mm -hmm. That's our main thing. I think the most important thing is the language of Cajun music. Some fear that the regional languages like that of Cajun French will die off as we become more globalized. But the Babineau sisters provide hope that a younger generation will indeed carry on this proud tradition. I'm heading to Bon Aine Crawfish Pies in Abbeville to see Cynthia Dudley, who is the torchbearer of another proud tradition. It was here in the same building where her grandmother, Wida, opened her business in the 1960s and began making some of the most famous crawfish and seafood pies in the South. I grew up here. Okay. I graduated from Abbeville High and I went to uh, UL okay. at, at the, at at that time, it was USL. University of Southwestern Louisiana. What does it mean to you about your Guida's legacy and the culture that's caught up in this pie? My grandmother was one of the first black women to own a business oh, okay. in Abbeville. All right. When I, I was growing up, um, I would come to my grandmother's place. And I would come in and I would look at her and I would say to myself, wow, one day, you know, I would like to do something like this. Okay. Because she was always such a jolly person. Mm -hmm. When I smelt it for the first time walking in today, I just was transposed right back yes. to that same, those thoughts of the Ouida's pies and how delicious they are. Yes. Now, do you make a different, uh, other than the crawfish, yes. you make other pies? Um, we actually do uh, shrimp uh -huh. and crab. Okay. Now, I don't see any kneaders or rollers out here. You do all that by hand? All by hand. All by hand. Everything is handmade. Well, you can taste the love. Well, thank you. You can really feel it and, and just, it's just incredible. Food is such an important part of our culture. Yes, it is. It's a, it was a way to communicate. 
Yes. It was a way for us to uh, <clears throat> interface. Yes. Psychologists That's say right. that you communicate best at a table. That's right. Unique cultural traditions that I've experienced today have brought me closer to what's truly at the heart of Vermillion Parish and its people. A community where all visitors are met with welcoming arms and a place where everyone is truly family.